Hello and welcome. If this is your first time sculpting, you're in the right place. I'm gonna go slowly about everything and try to teach you all the things you should know before going on your own journey. Okay, so let's not wait for anything and go in. The first thing I press and delete the camera. Now I will turn on my screen keys as well so on the side you can see what buttons I'm pressing. So I just click on the light and X to get a delete option and delete it. Now I select my cube and I'm going to go into modifiers, find the subdivision surface at three levels and just hit the apply. Now I will go into edit mode by pressing tab, pressing S I'm going to scale the sphere to be a bit bigger and pressing tab to go back into object mode. Now I'm going to press my second mouse key which is right click and shade smooth and go into sculpting mode. By pressing 1, let me turn on the screencasts again. It seems it doesn't find it. Okay. Now by pressing one on the numpad, I get the front view. By pressing three, I get the side view. Now I'm going to drag my brush just a little bit so we can see which one I got selected. But first we do anything. I'm going to go over a bit of the settings. So first I'm going to just choose clay strips and start explaining. The radius you can understand. We can change radius by pressing F on a keyboard and dragging to the right side or left side. If you drag up and down, it's not going to change anything. When you want, you selected your size, just press on a canvas and you got your size. The strength you can choose by pressing shift and F, then dragging right to left. Now, if you're going to be using a mouse, then try to have your strength lower, maybe at 0 0.3. If you're using a tablet, we can go high, even 0 0.9 on the clay strips brush. Now, brushes like draw sharp may need additional thing because we can draw very not straight lines then we would have to use another options in the brushes which is in stroke section and stabilize stroke then when we draw it's gonna be a bit easier to draw a straight lines now let's go back to clay strips at some point in some places we, you can firstly set up front face only and you won't get some errors in some places. Okay. Another thing is good to know when sculpting is remesher. It's called voxel remesh, voxel size. You should remember the shortcuts because they are more comfortable. Shift plus R and dragging right side increases the density left side decreases the density. Now, be very careful how much you change this number because even the smallest changes actually does increase the vertice by a very big count. I'm gonna go somewhere in between 0 0.05. And when I wanna accept this remesh, I press Ctrl and R. Now, by holding on the drawing brushes, holding shift, I can, and drawing on the mesh, I can smooth the mesh. But if I have not a drawing brushes like draw facets and smoothing on this place doesn't, holding shift and trying to smooth doesn't smooth. So just keep in mind which brush you got selected. That's why smooth, smooth might not be working. In the viewport overlays, I, I will turn on statistics so you can see how many vertices I got. So you can try and copy how many I have. And you can have the same. 
Now, if you want to make your work a bit easier, by right clicking, you can assign the brushes to the short shortcut. And you can access the shortcut by pressing Q on a keyboard and just choose which one you want to use. So if I'm going to be switching through them, just have that in mind. Okay, so I have my clay strips selected. It's a drawing brush, so I can smooth my mesh. I'm just going to hold shift and drag around this pair. Now I'm going to press G for the grabbing tool. And usually having hardness can be used in some places, but not on every single place. Usually having it set up by default is what we use most of the time. What I'm going to do, I'm going to shape the skull. So I'm going to drag down a bit, make my size smaller and drag to the sides. Now I press three on the keypad to get into side view. Drag the bottom up a bit ahead. Same goes to the top of the skull. Now, knowing every single brush is not that important because most of them do pretty much the same things. So just choose four or five brushes which you like and use most of the time. For grabbing, you can use grab these three tools. Usually grab is most default tool and works in the most cases. Okay, so I'm going to go back to clay strips. And I'm going to just carve in the bottom. How you do that is brushes have two choices for adding and subtracting. Some brushes by default have an add options, but some of them has subtract as a default option. If there one is a default option, you can change it just for a few seconds when you hold the button and holding control does that. So if I hold control, I draw, I do subtract. And if I release it, it's going to be adding. Now it has the opposite effect for the brushes who has subtract. So by default it subtracts, but if I hold control, it makes adding a mesh. Okay. So let's go to clay strips and shape our skull bottom. I'm going to carve in a lot of mesh from the bottom. So we get those front teeth. and holding shift to smooth the mesh. As you can see, I, I go over and over the smoothing brush. Now I'm having the grab. You can actually see and separate which brush is selected by the color of the radius of your brush. So if I have a grab tool, it's yellowish. If I have a drawing tool, it's bluish. Now we're going to use a new brush. It's the flattening brushes. There are four of them. You can see by the color, they're reddish. Smooth, flatten, fill and scrape. I usually like the scrape brush the most because it's effective brush. It works fast and very accurately. So I'm going to scrape the front. Now, some of the matcaps are not very visible when you scope from the front, especially this one. The front looks very lightish. So, I'm going to go into my matcaps and change to my custom matcap, which you can download from my Gumroad for free. Okay. So, now I'm going to scrape the side of the skull and smooth. Go into front view and smooth the things up work with the grab tool as well you can smooth with the grab tool as well with all these tools you can smooth just not the ones at the bottom now 
we need a holes for the eye sockets. Having a clay strips works perfectly, perfectly fine, but there's another better brush. It's just a draw brush. It's a very strong brush. So it works very well for the holes, but not for many other things. We're gonna make, make a big hole. I'm gonna go into side view and shape a bit more like a skull. Put this one in front. Those teeth. Now we need some crevices for visualizing the teeth. I will use draw sharp. There's our two brushes for making crevices. One is draw sharp, another is one crease. And sometimes combining them both can have, give good and impressive results. So I'm gonna go over and use both of them. Slowly craving in, carving in. Um, as well with these brushes as, as I showed can do um, add adding feature. So on the sides, not in the crevices on the side, I can add a bit more sharpness to the to the cuts. Now that these are more flat, so I'm gonna scrape. Now the scrape tool has two options as well. It's scrape or peaks and scraping in takes the mesh away but if you hold, hold control it's gonna add the mesh on which is gonna be flat so sometimes that can be very useful but in this time just scraping away now let's say i think this teeth this tooth is too narrow i can throw my control and drag on it and make it a bit larger okay so i'm just gonna smooth a bit and i think i drag my teeth way too down but at this point if i try to drag up we might be changing the mesh and this is where the masking tools comes in. So the masking tools are, the shortcut is M for just to draw the mask. Shortcut B gives us a rectangular drawing option, which will mask. And another one is at here, if you see there's a small arrow, if you hold there's a lasso tool, you can get to the lasso tool by holding Ctrl and Shift and drawing. Just remember that we have a symmetry. Symmetry is up here. We can turn it off. And now we won't have a symmetry. Let's turn it back on. It should be on by default. We can access a mask options by pressing A and releasing. If you hold A for too long and release, the options will disappear. So just press and release. Now we can clear, invert, or something, shrink, sharpen, and a lot of those options. For now, we're just going to clear it because we need to draw. I'm going to press B. We need a new mask. So I'm stopping at the eyes. I'm going to take my grabbing tool and push them up. but you can clear your mask in few ways as well. You can press B and hold shift while drawing and it will make them make the mask disappear. But if you press A, you can clear the mask as well. Okay. So now we're going to use the voxel remesh to get rid of these 
places where the mesh interact. I will apply the voxel remesh. You can do it in here, but I'm going to use the shortcut again, control R. And I'm going to smooth the places where the mesh was. Okay. Let's add a cute nose. I'm going to use clay strips. And draw a triangular shape. Use a draw. The draw shortcut is just X. Many of the blender brushes doesn't have a shortcut. Some of them does. Okay. Now this is an old school and it's a hard school. So let's add a crack. I'm going to show you how to add a nice looking crack. Firstly, we're going to use draw sharp. Let's turn off the symmetry because we don't want a crack looking symmetrized in both sides. I'm going to start drawing from this place. Don't forget that I have in a advanced, I mean, sorry, in the stroke options, I have stabilize stroke on. So I have this red thing going from my radius. Where can I control and draw a sharper edges? Now, by extending my brush and subtracting the line, I can come back to the place where I finished and start drawing a new crack. And I have a crack like this. Now I'm gonna press crease or shift C for a shortcut and draw right into the cut places and use a bit of the smooth tool around it. Now there's a new options where you can do cool stuff like extruding the mesh. I'm gonna press M and mask the top. And at the mask options, there's mask extract, which we're gonna do. Pressing OK. And we got a small mesh, which has a simple modifier on I'm gonna turn off and add a new which is solidify I'm going to offset it and made it thicker and this way I have a cool hair on the skull in very short time. Okay, so let's go to the sculpting mode. And you may see if I try to draw, there's nothing happening. Just a big mess because there's not really a, a lot of things on this, especially when I did not apply my solidify. So I'm just going to apply, go back into sculpting mode, clear the mask, and I will use the remesher again. So now we have more mesh. I'm just going to go and smooth it. With the grab tool, I'm going to insert the hair inside the skull. So it looks like it's growing from the skull. And we have this cute little skull. Now, before I end the tutorial, I'm gonna try quickly explaining all the brushes. So we know draw, draw sharp. Clay is usually just the same as clay strips. Um, 
sorry, I'm drawing on a wrong object. So clay is dissimilar to clay strips. It just interacts differently and gives a bit more natural look, more like for lively creatures, for skin and similar things. Clay thumb is just like with your actual thumb pushing the clay from one side to another. layer is just as you can see the brush itself has a very um, hard edge because on the clay strips we have two radius and the smaller radius is not as big but on the layer the radius is the same size so it's a very drastically sharp brush it does the same things but the layer brush is just faster than clay strips it's add more mass and it may be harder to control inflate is just how it sounds it inflates the mesh it's good when you use a snake hook and let's say you have a very thin line let's make it a bit thicker you have a very thin line then you can use the inflate Now, blob is just simple drawing brush. It's very similar to a simple draw and blob. Crease, we already used it. Flattening brushes are the same. Fill just fills the empty places. It, it doesn't draw on the outer, it just, just only on the crevice. What the planners scrape is similar to flatten but it works to make a sharper edge this tool can create a lot of wobbliness and not desire things on a mesh so usually don't use it pinch let me just turn our symmetry back pinch is good for making the crevices closer And yeah, pinch is useful in many phase things. Grab, we knew. Snake hook, which ju I just showed. You usually don't use a lot of these tools. You choose a few of them, which one do you want? I have my draw, no sharp, clay strip. I sometimes inflate, but not always. Smooth, scrape, and grab. Now, I explain most of these. Another thing useful is the scale, move, rotate, and transform. Why are they useful? Let's say my teeth are, are too small. I'm going to use shift control and draw with my lasso. Now by pressing A, I'm going to invert my mask. By pressing A again and drawing down. I'm going to smooth my mask a few times. Now I can use the scale option. You can use um, change the place of this thing. If you change the pivot, you can set in the sculpting mode, set pivot to unmasked. And it's going to send it here. We have a symmetry. If we turn up the symmetry and send to unmask, it's going to send to it to the center. And by holding the side, we can scale it up. Let me control Z or scale it down. Now, when the scale down, it pushes it up. We can use the move tool and move it down. Now transform is just a simple transform. You have more options like all of these options. It's just maybe a bit harder to use. Okay, guys. So 
that's it for beginner's tutorial. I hope you liked the tutorial and see you next time.